we have here is a very small uh, just technology demonstrator test bed. Um, we've got three caster wheels, non-powered, attached to this little tiny wooden base. And the um, locomotion is this motor. It's a hog drive, hemispheric omnidirectional gimbal drive system. So these servos are just providing the gimbaling support, moving this motor, this DC motor, around on the axis. This is a very simple, just it's, as you see, it's there's no logic, there's no sensing. It's just running through the motions and the motor with this little tiny plastic uh, rubbery half circle here is providing as the actual drive system. Um, and it's all just, just to test to see if it goes. It is hooked up to AC still since it's just tech demonstrator so I'm going to have to hold these power wires out of the way as it goes. But the way I rigged up this little test bed is that... Um, as you see, it's running, but it's not moving. So all I do is I push the casters to lower the platform, and that way the motor will take off. It's going to be a little hard. I hope um, my videos aren't very stable to begin with, but I hope I can keep track of it. And by the time I put these down, it should start moving on its own, under its own power, as soon as that motor touches. There it goes a little bit. So just to show that, you know, there's not much power, it's a very simple motor, just to show that it is possible to get this hog drive with one motor, actually, oh wow, he did, he went real good that time, as a robot controller, you know, as an actual viable means to transport a machine around with one single motor. Directional control is all based on the logic, uh, the direction of the motor and the gimbling of the actual motor itself to put them into specific known you know left right whatnot but this just shows that uh, one motor does do it more powerful setup and some logic and some sensors and should act like a normal robot and a flat surface to test on would be awesome too which this floor is not exactly 100% flat so a little bit of progress still got a lot more to go um, but hopefully this will just show you a little bit more if you're interested in the hog setup.